These activities are the foundation of Destiny 2. And we're going to take you to all new places to do them. Four brand new worlds. Worlds filled with mystery, adventures, and new characters to meet. But the team can show you these worlds better than I can. So let's check out the new worlds of Destiny 2. We have these incredible worlds to explore. There are all new destinations, new planets, with incredible spaces and secrets hidden. Now we have stuff tucked around every corner, under every locked door. There's something there for you to find. The map is a huge part of this new player experience for Destiny. Now you can actually go directly from one planet to another planet without going to orbit first. You can just open the director, pick your new destination, and go straight there. It's about getting you into the action faster. We want to remove as many barriers as we can between your gun and the enemy's face. Everything you're doing on every destination is about getting more powerful, and it's about getting the band back together. The vanguard have been scattered, and as a player, it's your job to go out to these mysterious destinations and gather them back together. And everywhere you go, it's about growing more powerful and learning how to go back and take back your home from the doll. One of the first destinations that you're going to go to is the European Dead Zone. This is an incredible place. It's the largest destination we've ever built, easily, maybe by a factor of two. And we have found a refuge where we've built a camp. It's the place where humanity stops fleeing, and it's where they decide to, you know, plant a flag, start getting strong again. One of our new worlds is Titan. It's a moon of Saturn. If the light can find its way back to you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. That's where Zavala chooses to go, to heal his wounds and to recover from the assault and the defeat that he's just suffered. It's this incredible methane ocean with 40 meter high waves, and there's an old human utopia there that's sinking into the ocean. These huge monolithic structures constructed by humanity at the peak of the Golden Age. There's literally no land mass on Titan. It looks like the ocean. I don't know how long this portal's gonna stick. Cade is on a planetoid called Nessus. It has been totally occupied by the Vex. They have transformed it almost entirely into one of their machine worlds. It has its own native vegetation, and the landscape has these incredible canyons that are actually based off of this um, word I will mispronounce called Tepui, which is like these Brazilian plateaus. And then we go to Io, which is this sort of sulfuric yellow moon of Jupiter. Io is the last place in our solar system that the Traveler touched before the collapse happened. And you can imagine that a place where the Traveler once appeared has a bunch of mythology and lore and mystery surrounding it. It's a very sacred place to guardians, and particularly warlocks, and particularly Ikora. This is where I return.